Oh, oh, something's going down. Something's happening today, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. There's even more things going on. And we just had our kitchen built yesterday. Oh, all right. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Story of Seasons, a trio of towns. And we are currently on Clover Farm in our beautiful, brand new, updated home. And I'm so excited because Ludus came by yesterday, and he actually helped us to make sure that the whole place would be nice and clean. Everything looks sleek and elegant. We don't have to worry about spiders and and little haunted ghosties possibly creaking out from the falling apart home we lived in. And Ludus actually even seemed really apologetic that he hadn't been able to get to us sooner to help us fix the house up, that we were living in a, just a dilapidated shack. So I really like Ludus and he's here again today to talk to us apparently about tool modification. So let's see what he has to say. All right, Ludus, come on in my friend. I wish I had a meal to serve you. I wish I had more chairs, all of those things. Aloha, sorry to bug you so early. Just wanted to tell you that I've started a new tool upgrade service at my shop. The Jack of all things shop really is living up to its name. You're a farmer and all, so I figured that it's a service you'll probably want to use. Want me to explain to you how it works? Alright, tell me about it, Ludus. Alright, in that case, why don't you come with me to the shop? Of course! Oh, it would be so nice if you would just leave me, like, in Luluco so I could wander around that first thing in the morning. I really want to see if there's some sort of upgrade I can give my home to look more like the Luluco home so far. But who knows? Maybe I'll fall in love with the homes from the other town that we aren't even part of yet. Okay, let me explain how tool upgrades work. By using various ores, you can upgrade your tools and make them easier to use. How do I get my hands on new ores, though? I need a hammer! There are four categories you can use to improve your tools. Weight, effectiveness, capacity, and range. If you upgrade, say, the weight of your tool, you'll spend less stamina when you use it. And if you upgrade the effectiveness, that will increase its power. Ooh! But there's a catch. You can only upgrade certain parts of certain tools so far, and that's different for each one. Let me show you some diagrams to explain what I mean. I like what a good teacher he is. All right, so you can do weight and effectiveness, and then that would ex affect the range. Capacity, what kind of tools would have capacity? I've got to think about that. Uh, would it be like, can you upgrade your milker? <laughs> that would be kind of interesting. And that's it, that's how it works. All change different rates, depend all charge different rates, depending on what parts of the tools you want upgraded. So keep that in mind, okay? As for what each specific upgrade will do, you can check out uh, you can check that out in your bookshelf or come ask me at the shop. I recommend upgrading things starting with whatever tools you'd like to use the most. I've still got to figure out his voice. I just feel like it would be really fluid, rolling over the vowels quite easily. Hang on. Come to think of it, Siri, do you have a hammer? <gasps> Is he going to give me my own hammer? Yes, please! Thought so. Without one of- whoops the daisy uh, help- Without one of those, you won't be able to collect the ores that you need to do for the upgrades. Alright, tell me about it, Ludus. Worse comes to worse, you could always buy the ores from the material shop, but... Aha! Uh -huh. Is he gonna give me a hammer? You know what? Let me give you one of mine. Ludus, you're so cool! He wants to help us more than anybody else that I've really noticed. Oh, that's so awesome! This is an old one of mine from years ago, but you should still be able to get some use out of it. Using a hammer is pretty much just like using an axe. The difference is, you aren't chopping trees, you're smashing boulders. You can also use the hammer to pound any rocks you see lying around into stone. If you want to know the details again, you can read up on it in your bookshelf. Thank you, Ludus! Oh, if you don't have a hammer, that means you probably don't know about mining points, right? Mining points? <laughs> yes, maybe I can get some gemstones! Oh yeah! Uh, well, since we're on the topic already... Let me teach you about mining and mining points. Come on, let's go to West Town. Ludus, thank you! I wish I could buy you like a morning breakfast or something. This is so awesome. Speaking of morning breakfast, I need to go learn some recipes for my kitchen! Here's a mining point. There are four points just like this one all over West Town. You can use your hammer to mine for ores here. That hammer I gave you is really old though. It probably isn't tough enough to mine at certain points. But if you upgrade its effectiveness, you should eventually be able to mine in the rougher points. Yay! And that means rare ores. Man, this sure turned into a long conversation, didn't it? Well, have a better idea of what tool upgrading and mining is about now? Of course, thank you! Good, I'm heading back home then. Aloha! Thank you, Ludus! Oh man, he's really cool. 
quite thorough in explanation, really good at being able to tell you what you need to do to actually take care of your farm. And I received a little bit of money. Whoa, look at all that money I got from doing the jobs yesterday. Huzzah, you guys. All right. So like I said, welcome back to Clover Farm, everyone. Uh, boulders on farms, mining added. We have some mail too. What's going down here? We're now selling recipes. Yes. We are now selling recipes. We have exclusive recipes you won't find anywhere else. So stop by if you'd like. And then Straw Market has clothing available. And then we've also got clothing available at Relaxion, uh, which would be the Jack of All Trades shop, actually. And Carolisa is now selling recipes too. Oh my gosh, Straw Market has new products available. Animal Stinks has new animals available. <gasps> so much going on. This is awesome. All right, let's see. How is my town rank going? We're so close, you guys. We're so close to being able to rank up with West Town. And there's more mail. Oh, oh my gosh. Bon Charme. Bonjour. We have some new items for sale here at Bon Charme. They're all fresh and delicious. You're going to stop by, no? And then, let's see. Relaction has more products available. And then, new menu items available at Aquapaza. Oh, my gosh. You guys. That's so much stuff. This is fantastic. As the towns really start opening up, they really hoof it on what you have available to gather. Not to mention, like, when you rank up the town uh, rating, like, when you start getting higher town link rates, then that will increase even more things that you can start finding, gathering, preparing, bringing to... Um, like bringing from the different towns. New crops will be available, new animals will be available. Thank you, Radish! And little Radish is so adorable, and she has just given us a fresh egg. Oh, and I think I've heard that our Uncle Frank really loves eggs, so I should give, I should definitely take one of my radishes, one of my radishes' eggs. I looked at those radishes and got myself confused. Sorry about that, guys. I should take one of my eggs, and I will give it to my uncle. I definitely need to start putting sparkly fertilizer down on maybe my radishes and try to make a high-quality radish. Let's grab the chewy treat to give to Radish the chicken. There you go, Radish. And hopefully that'll help her out so she'll start laying two eggs pretty soon. So I've given her all three Chewy Treats. Her byproduct amount is still just one, but if I am consistent with it and keep working at it, then it should go up over time. So we've got a lot to do today. We can actually go ahead and start mining now. <gasps> Isn't that so exciting, Minty? We can go mining. Let me go ahead and get Minty's milk. We can go ahead and try to find more recipes. It's just amazing. And the, again, like I said, this is just stuff we can do with our town ranks being at like E. And once you get them higher and higher and higher up, there's more and more stuff you can find, more more little circles that you can put on your farm. All right, come on, Minty. Come on, Minty. I need to get a herding pet, Minty. All right, go, 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 go. Come on, Minty, come on. You can do it. Just a little bit. No, Minty, come on. And... Almost, Minty, Minty, we're almost there. Come on, we've got this to get, yes! <gasps> Thank goodness, all right. So Minty is now outside. That took a little bit of finagling. And let me go ahead and use some of my energy to water my crops. A little worried, but we're not gonna panic. We will look over some recipes today and hopefully getting some good recipes under our belt will help us out with having the stamina we need to be able to do the fishing, to be able to do all of our farming, to take care of all of our animals. We might even be able to start watering our crops twice a day, and I think they have not been growing as quickly as they should, because I haven't been able to water them twice a day, only once a day. So hopefully that'll work out. Look at our cool little, like, what was it, Happy Times workshop or workbench? I, that's so adorable. All right, and we'll water this one. Do you need your feed today? Did I... Oh no, did I bring you in too early? Minty! Minty, go back inside! If that's the case, Minty, then... Okay, go back inside, Minty! Come over here and eat! There's food right over here! Alright, yeah, you still have four fodders. So I think I need to wait until she eats. Check animal notebook. Yeah, she... Ha oh, there! Now she's eaten! Okay, Minty, now you can go back outside. Noted. So you kind of want to wait a little bit. So I wonder if Radish didn't get a chance to eat Radish's chicken food. Let's check out. Let's see. We'll check it out. Radish hasn't eaten yet today, you guys. What have I done? <laughs> you can't bring him out too early. Radish, I'm so sorry. I think they may eat at eight then. Go forth. Go forth and peck away, my little hen hen. All right, there. Now they've fed. That's so much better. And we'll put him outside so that their stress level stays down. 
I can't wait to get more of the chickens and more of the cows and especially more of like the silky chickens and the quails and there's llamas and angora rabbits. I love the idea of having a bunch of rabbits running around just like in our Stardew Valley farm so that the rabbits can uh, give us the wool that we're going to need to make new clothes. Holy moly, my head is still spinning with all the stuff we have to do. All right, so now that farm work is taken care of, let me go ahead and we're gonna ship out a whole bunch of radishes. Maybe not all of them, because if they end up giving me, if I wanna ship the milk, I'll go ahead and ship the milk today. But if those radishes end up becoming food for me, there we go, bush brown butterfly. I want the stamina so I can get things to grow even faster. And look, Naru from the other town is visiting. Isn't that so cool? So now that we have opened up more of the town areas, then you'll run into villagers. Yeah, villagers from both towns, West Town and uh, uh, Lalako are coming here. I don't think the town's called Lalako, but the name escapes me at the moment. The woman is walking into some weasels over there. That's interesting. All right, so let's come up. And what do I wanna do first? I feel like, <gasps> mining, that's what I wanna do first. I knew we had something really important that I got distracted about because <laughs> there's just so much to do. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna grab our brand new hammer. There it is, I totally missed it. I thought it was gonna be at the bottom. Brand new hammer. And let's come on over. Oh my gosh, the big old eagle is here again. I need to get him a fish. And how does this work? <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, what just happened here? Sand rose, ruby, iron? We are now open, thanks for stopping by. Oh, I was so confused at what was happening. I thought Megan was gonna run up and give us a give us a lecture about the mining that we can do, but you can do a little bit of mining every day, I think is how it works. But let me see, so I just got rubies, holy days! 3,700 gold. What? 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 <laughs> I'm rich. Look at that. 4,500. Oh my gosh. I probably want to save those, but I want to I want to I want to spend the money like so badly. I'm so stunned. I don't even have the words. Okay, so apparently like this mining point will be too tough for us um, because we need to upgrade our hammer. Yeah, you can't mine here with this hammer, gotcha. And then there's another mining point over here. Is this, oh, I get more, I get more. Oh my gosh, so tired. I feel like I'm gonna collapse. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. I have bricks, I have iron. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And I used up way too much of my energy. Oh, hi, Carrie. It feels nice to take a walk in the early morning. Not many folks are out and about yet, so it's as if I have the whole town to myself. And apparently Carrie really loves honey and other desserts. I've actually started peeking at what some of their favorite gifts are just to kind of give myself some idea of where to go. But I don't think I have anything. I think she likes, uh, is it Megan? Megan likes, fruit uh, off of trees. So I might give her some plums or maybe that means something more specific. But you guys, we just got a black rock, rare black rock sometimes found on the road. Smash them with a hammer to make black stones, which can be sold for a reasonable price. Uh, I must have picked that up actually. We have copper, we have bricks, um, simple, easy to find in mines. We have iron, also known as black metal in some places. Extremely useful, fairly easy to obtain. We have period, holy go. Oh my gosh, how do I Do I just sell these things? No wonder, They're, I'm so rich now. I've, I'm really blown away. <laughs> and then we've got Brad over here. The business is closed at the moment. Dang it, Brad. We open up a little before noon. We have lots of light dishes on the menu. So if you're feeling hungry, stop on by, you hear? All right, I totally will, Brad. And I can't remember, I think Brad likes potatoes. Yeah, I did peek, I did peek. But it's not because I, I wanted to spoil things for myself. It's just because it's important to be able to uh, keep an idea of balance for all of the stuff that I'm hauling around. I would hate if I had their favorite thing and kept giving them their not so favorite thing. All right, where's Ford? Is he upstairs? Possibly about to eat lunch. Hey, Ford. Have you eaten today, Siri? Healthy meals at proper intervals are integral are integral integral to maintaining your stamina, especially since you're rather slim for a farmer. I suggest eating meals that are high in calories. Thank you, Ford. 
All right, let's see. And I'm gonna give him an aloe. There's an aloe, we're gonna go ahead and hold it. And then, oh, look at him, he's eating his meal. Hmm, this is for me, is it? And apparently, like, these herbs are some of his favorite things, so that's really useful. Yes, do you have business with me? Apologies, but could you wait a moment? All right, so he's not gonna invite us to eat with him. We have to really work on our friendship points with so many of the different villagers to really make that happen. So let's head back up. I think we can maybe do a little bit more mining if I had a little bit more stamina, a pinch more stamina. Come on. Are you open now, Brad? Gosh darn. I guess it's gonna be another half hour before he really opens. But I'm stunned, you guys. I, I, are those rare items or are those the kinds of things you get every day from farming or from mining? Me or this flower? Which looks more beautiful? As an actress, I have to look better than the flowers decorating the stage. You can't expect people to pay uh, to see you if you can't outshine a flower. That's not being an actress, that's being a thief. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to take that. That was adorable. If you ever have any questions about flowers, please come see me. I'll help you however I can. And apparently one of Lizette's favorite things are actually mints, which I think are pretty cool, but I don't have any mints right now. Um, do I have anything I could offer her? I mean, I could give her this this little seashell, but I don't think I have enough gifts at the moment. So that's the other thing. Looking up what people's gifts are, you guys know I'm not really big into that, but it can help you if you're trying to sort of figure out where to spend your time uh, with the different with the different item collecting events and different things that you could grow. So that's why I did it too. Hello! Oh man, I really need to give him something, but I have no energy so I can't go fishing. All right, let's see if they're finally selling food. Come on, Carrie, come on, Brad. I'm gonna pass out here. I desperately need a meal. Hey, Marco. Let Brad know if you find any new and interesting ingredients. He likes inspiration for new recipes, you know? All right, so let's come talk to Brad. Welcome to the Garden Grill. We've begun selling recipes, so if you're interested, by all means, take a look. What can I do for you today? All right, let's see if I can buy some recipes and make stuff myself. And we've got salad, the intro. Uh, a set of two recipes for mashed potatoes and onion salad. We also have soup, the intro for West Town. Potato pottage, corn pottage, and carrot soup. Boiled on the range. Uh, Spanish, or cabbage rolls, stuffed tomatoes, Spanish omelet. Potato bread, corn bread, and vegetable bread. <gasps> that might be really useful for the potato bread. Uh, let's see, then we have juices, puddings. There's so many. Let's do an intro to baking. All right, I'm gonna buy it. And now I'm out of money. Did you need anything else? Well, I wanted to order some food, but I don't have any money now, Brad. <laughs> let's go see if I can do a part-time job or two that won't completely make me collapse so that I will be able to have enough money. I mean, I don't know if Ford could like heal my stamina for cheap enough. I think it's kind of expensive. Gosh darn, and he's not where I needed him to be for clinic hours anyway. So let me see if there's a part-time job I can whip together really quickly. I don't think it affects your stamina. And then I'm gonna be rich tomorrow. May not be rich today, but I sure will be rich tomorrow once I start selling some of these things. So let's see, flower courier, shipper. I don't have any flowers to ship. Woodcutter, woodcutter, item courier, item courier, item courier. Uh, the courier jobs won't actually work until later, but I guess I could chop wood. Let's chop some wood for Tototara. And unfortunately, that'll send me way far away, but I guess every little bit of money helps. Huh. And then I can see if I can go have a chef's special. Or maybe I could eat something here! Yeah! Let's go ahead and chop Tototara some uh, of the wood. Hopefully it won't make me pass out. And then let's go down to the cafe and see if I can afford something at the cafe instead. Because I am pretty much broke. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, Tototara done in record time, what do you think? Oh, what impressive strength. Here, please take this as payment. Yay, she gave us a bonus. Very helpful. Mahalo, Siri, take care of yourself. Well, I'm trying, Tototara, I'm trying. It could be a little tricky. All right, so let's see. Mangoes are growing, vanilla beans are growing. While we're over here, I might as well come up and say hello. Let's see, uh, Ludus, how you doing? If there's ever anything you need done on your farm, come see me, yeah? Nah, it wouldn't be a bother at all. Seriously, it's okay. I'm here to help. Alright, thank you, Ludus. I wish I had something I could offer him as a gift, but I have no idea what he might enjoy. Um, do I have anything cool? I mean, other than my really expensive stuff. I don't know if I just want to go chucking around my very rare plants. <laughs> That's so cool. I love those plants. I could give him an egg, I guess? 
Um, you know what? I can I can possibly afford to give my eggs away as gifts now that I uh, will be making so much money from mining. Ludus? Okay, he appreciates the thought, but we haven't really found the special thing that makes him super excited yet. I love that bonfire. This town is so cool. All right, so let's run down and we'll go to the cafe and we'll see if with the money I just made from wood cutting, I can afford, oh, hey, Carolia. I'm a fisherman's wife, so it's probably no surprise. I love to eat all kinds of fish. Well, I can't, all except one. There's just one I can't stand. I feel kind of bad about it, so let's keep it a secret between us, okay? That's kind of cute. All right, and we'll run up here. Hello. You can find lots and lots of fruit here in Lu uh, Lulu Coco. Uh, Coco. There we go. Lulu Coco. I got it. But we don't have many crops, so we have to import them from other towns. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Welcome. Come on. I, what if I want to buy something from here? Dang it. All right. So apparently I can't buy anything from here. That's fine. What about over here? Oh, they're closed for now. It's, it's doom. Doom, you guys. I'm going to pass out because I have no energy. But I did just buy the potato bread recipe. So let's go back home and we'll see. Oh, there's... <gasps> I love picking these seashells out of the water. It is just so cool. That is just such a nice little detail. All right. So let's head out because everybody's closed right now. And I'm going to go... Dun, 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 dun. Back home to Clover Farm. And let's see if we can make potato bread then, after I look at this adorable little butterfly. So we'll see if potato bread is available, and maybe it'll save my life because I'm about to pass out. Or maybe it'll be a very early day indeed. Alright, so it would be under breads, rice dishes. There we go, potato bread! Flour and potatoes. So I need to go buy flour! Okay, I've got this! I can totally handle this! You can also have vegetable bread with vegetables and potatoes. So you guys, let's go buy some flour! Then I can make my own food and I might survive. And I'm still sort of stunned about these um, these things that we mined. I don't know if like some of them are so rare we shouldn't ever ship them. But at the same time, I need to make the money. So just this once, I'm gonna ship everything and then sit and be super duper rich. And I probably will regret that because maybe those things were super, super rare and I wasn't supposed to do that. But you know what? I can only do so much. Oh, and there's another butterfly. Hey, 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 butterfly, come here. There we go. I wanna catch like every bug now because Dusty turns them into absolutely amazing gifts for me. Let's see, there's the little beetle. And then I need to go and we're gonna see if we can buy some flour. I guess you have to always buy like certain extra bits of ingredients to complete your meals. So I'll have to remember that because I don't think you can grow wheat and turn it into your own flour. So I'm gonna need to remember that for possibly wanting to make recipes to sell in the future. You have to calculate in the price of whatever it costs. All right, let's see, is it her? Hello, Natasha. Are you the one who are who is selling the flour? <gasps> Whoa, she is! She's selling corn flour and breadcrumbs and mayonnaise and truffles and coffee packs? I can make coffee? <laughs> Wade actually loves coffee, so that would be really fun if I could learn how to make coffee. Um, and the walnuts too, if I really wanted to spoil the little mongoose, but I couldn't find any walnuts to do so. That would be cool. All right, so let's grab a couple flowers. I'm gonna get maybe four of them for now. And then the cornmeal, I think you just needed cornmeal to make the, the thing, but that's really expensive cornmeal. So I'm gonna hold off on that. All right, thank you so much, Natasha. That'll be everything. Now I'm getting uh, pretty much as poor as it, it can go. Let's see, Horatio, can I pick up another part-time job from you really quickly? Maybe shipper, chop wood for woodcutter. Uh, let's see, Wayne, package, package, package for a whole bunch of people. Uh, there's Carrie, Totora, um, hmm, there's just so much. Okay, we'll do a wood chopper again really quickly because it doesn't affect our stamina. And then we're gonna go home and we're gonna try having some potato bread. And then I think I will have conquered some more of the daily things that you're supposed to do. Well, figuring out the mechanics. Because we've been having some really long episodes and really long days lately. And not that I really want to complain because I absolutely adore this series, but still. So as we go, go on and get a little bit more comfortable, I might do things like watering our crops on my own or uh, just like getting the animals ready or maybe doing the part-time jobs if they're not anything particularly like earth shatteringly different. And we'll get into the flow of what it means to be a farmer here in Story of Seasons, a trio of towns. All right, thank you, Carolia. 
Oh, she gave us a bonus. I'm so glad. I wonder if she'll actually enjoy having fish. Like if I went out and caught fish for her. Oh, there's her husband. Let's say hello. Don't sweat the small stuff. Yo, Siri, how's it going today? Working hard today? We're just playing hard. Let's see. All the fish around here are delicious and safe to eat. Fish are a big part of our way of life, so they deserve our respect. Hmm, very cool. And monkeys. I don't know about the monkeys deserving my respect. I'm gonna try, but I really have, a, have issues with monkeys. All right, so let's run down here. So now that we've got a little bit of money, and now that I've got flour, and I know I have potatoes, let's see what we can do. Can we save ourselves? Can we finally, finally get to the point? Let's turn on the light where we will be able to cook our own food. All right, let's see, dessert. All right, potato bread, you guys. Here it comes. All right, flour. I would like to use some flour and then potato. Yes, I would like to use potato. I would like to confirm. I would like to make two. So let's go ahead and make two dishes and see how it turns out. And my very first cooking meal and my very first mining all in one day. I made potato bread and I earned the specialty amateur chef. So let's dig out that potato bread, you guys. Look at that. I could sell it for 216 gold. That is not what it cost me to make uh, the potato bread with, though. That's a loss. So, so you want to remember that. Let's go ahead and eat one. Ta-da! Look at how much that helped us out. I definitely need to be growing more potatoes. Oh, and let's try radishes. Let's see if we can make some vegetable bread with the little spicy radishes that we have whipped up. So let me come over here. It's probably better to save that for, let's do flour, there we go. And then radish, there we go. Confirm, and we're just gonna make one and see how it is. Dun 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 dun! And now we have vegetable bread! Which doesn't really sound like the best to me, but I just imagine it's like a tiny salad, like a radish, or tiny sandwich, I mean, like a radish sandwich. But now we have my own food! I can grow my own food! This is so exciting! I wish I had more potatoes for potato bread. That's really nice and easy to make. All right, so let's go see if we can finish up with that mining point. And then I think I might be able to even pick up some of the uh, delivery jobs. And it's getting a little bit late in the evening to risk that. Hey, Uncle Frank, I have an egg for you. Hey, good to see ya. Your pa's my big brother and he left your care in my hands. So if you need anything, come to me. I'll help you best I can. Thank you, Uncle Frank. Let me give him an egg because I've heard that eggs are one of his favorite things. So let me run over here. Uncle Frank? Uncle Frank! <laughs> no, I almost cracked an egg on his head. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and try again. All right, Uncle Frank, here you go. Ho oh, ho. Oh. These are a favorite of mine. Thanks for the thoughtful gift. You know, I'm starting to feel better now. Maybe it's because of that bright old smile of yours. I wonder if that's what they say when you give them favorites. So I'm going to need to remember that. All right, so let's run up to Northwest Town again. And then now that I'm here, I want to try mining at that spot a little bit more. Because I think the mine spots will tell you when they are completed. Like you can't do any more on them. And this one, we actually were passing out. Oh! <gasps> Yeah, it tells you that's probably enough mining. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We got more. A glass stone! What does that even do? This is amazing! A clump of glass with a white tint and a smooth, slippery surface. Widely used as a building material. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am pleased as punch. I don't know about you, but I think this is absolutely amazing. Let's say hello to Hector and his son Colin as we run by. Hi, guys! And then poor Colin is so nervous around us. And we will have covered pretty much everything. So I need to just push my animals back in. Oh, I should have bought some more seeds, but it was probably too late anyway. I need to push my animals back into the farm for the night. I think the next thing I really want to work on, since we're going to be just like totally overwhelmingly buried in money, which is awesome. Uh, oh, Megan's coming. Quick, throw the period into the, into the ship and then <laughs> make tons of money. Go, 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 go. Hurry, hurry, hurry! She's coming! I want her to take this because it's worth so much money. But we have so much money after shipping those things that we can focus on trying to get a pet! So we'll try to get our little pet house up and going, which is really, really wonderful. I can finally start having enough energy if I start cooking more often to be able to keep going during the day, which is really exciting to know. I mean, look, I'm able to give my radishes an extra little water. That's fantastic. 
So then it's just going to fall into a habit like I could totally afford with like one gemstone to buy ingredients to make a ton of food and I can take care of my farm that way. That's so exciting. All right, and I think that's all I can get done today. There we go. And now it's time to get Minty back into the barn. Come on, Minty. No, Minty. <laughs> no, Minty, no. <laughs> and it does make it a lot more obvious how easy it would be to be able to afford to get your animals the special animal treats and any of the other expensive things like going out to eat in the game. That, that mining changes everything. So there we are. Huh. Now we just need to see what I made at the end of the day. That's going to be pretty exciting. I should probably see if I could upgrade my watering can too. So we'll check out the tool upgrades and other things next time, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I absolutely love sharing the story of seas and adventures with you. Oh, and then just a heads up for the rest of the month of April, we will probably have story of seasons trio of towns three days a week, which is down from daily just because I have my brother's wedding to go to. And there's a few other surprises coming up on the channel but if I have any extra time I promise you there will be bonus episodes so part of my heart is so sad so sad so tragically sad to think about coming down from daily episodes but because these are also often like 30 to 40 minutes long that's why it'll be three times a week but don't despair and if you guys really want to see it more often just kind support really gives me the energy I need to slip it in during the day take some extra an extra hour is usually what an episode like this will take me an extra hour hour 20 minutes uh, per episode even though they're only 30 minutes long right but just let me know and then I will be able to use my free time to do some of that but yeah just brother's wedding lots of stuff going down so three times a week and it will go back to daily as soon as I can wiggle some space in my schedule for it and we'll have bonus episodes whenever I possibly can make it happen so I just wanted to let you guys know that because trust me you can tell from my excitement and my absolute love of what we're doing and we're getting stuff done and we had potato bread and radish bread today that if I could I would keep going every single day but I need to be a little bit realistic and I figure consistency is better than like crashing and then not having it for several days and then having it for several days in a row and then not having it for several days again so you guys know where I'm coming from because a lot of you who watch these episodes are longtime community members so I really care about this. I care about you guys. I'm going to focus on consistency, and that means three times a week with bonus episodes whenever I can manage it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.